But it sounds really good actually. Education isn't in this budget the council are talking about this time. So, you know, it doesn't look like they're making any cuts. However, this is because they've already made all the cuts in education. In November, the council decided to put out for redundancy among services such as behaviour support, support for children who speak English as an additional language, children with special educational needs. So all those uh, support services which support our most needy and vulnerable children in Bristol, they put it out for redundancy and in a week all of those positions were gone. There is now virtually no education services actually being provided by Bristol City Council. Now you might question in that case, are those services that we even need in Bristol? Well it turns out that these are services we need because these very same people who took redundancy have then been in schools touting for business and are now going to be setting up as private companies which schools obviously then have to pay more for those services which were previously being offered as Bristol City Council. So these are things which again are going to cut, so, uh, affect those uh, children who are already suffering those cuts the most in, in those areas that the last speaker just uh, outlined, all those uh, uh, states around, around Bristol. And um, I'm trying to work, work out my speech here. There's very, there is an argument that there are very little funds now coming into Bristol in edu for education services. So it's not the council's fault that they're putting forward these cuts. However, the reason for that is because our delightful council decided that we no longer needed local authority schools. They decided to basically sell off the majority of our schools, there's over 50% of primary schools and all of our secondary schools, into academies and schools which are run by private businesses or religious services around Bristol rather than for, for um, the education for children locally. Now, those schools get their uh, budget separately, which takes out all the funds from the council. So the reason that there aren't any funds for these very uh, essential services is because our council gave away and privatised our schools in the first place. And these schools don't stop there with just leaving um, those, those cuts there. They've also taken on all these new super heads, or CEOs even, as they like to call them, executive principals, which is another layer of leadership above uh, teachers and head teachers that sit across several schools and obviously take home a very nice delightful paycheck again taking those money out of library services or resources for the classroom and at the same time as that we've got larger and larger class sizes in schools as budgets are cut from the government we've got fewer resources and obviously needier children as the cuts decimate the areas that we need uh, that, that that we live in so we need to demand an accountable education system which is actually there to educate from cradle to grave children and adults for people not to be just trained into filling in forms or to be able to go into your nearest zero hour contract job but actually to be able to take part in society and improve the lives for all. And this is really important that we carry on fighting these things because the more and more that's cut the less there is actually there left for us to defend. And when there's nothing left that's when we're really going to see um, the horrific effects it has on the most vulnerable in our society. So thank you very much for everyone being here today and I hope we carry this on, uh, fight the, the council on Tuesday and actually end these cuts. Fantastic. Thanks very much.